Wake up, sleepers. It's time for another cycle. As you can see, we're getting low on food. So we're going to go ahead and buy some food. And we're going to try the food at the Overlook Bar. Now, this won't get us any fungus friend points. But it will. It might be cheaper. So let's see what happens. How much we get. We know that with the fungus, we get two. So let's see what we get for this. So we get two for this. So it's basically the same amount, but we don't get anything with that other quest. So we want to pay more. We want to pay six cryo more to advance that quest. Or if we need to save money, we can just buy here at the Overlook Bar. Now we might need to save money because remember, our bounty hunter is racking up a tab at the Compressor Club that we will someday have to pay. We will have to pay his tab. This bill isn't going to be small, is it? Wish we could give us some sort of advance notice about how much we're going to have to pay. So we know that in four cycles, his bill's going to come due. So what happens if we don't have enough money to pay it that day? Who knows? But anyway, it's time for us to go back to sleep because we have no dice. We don't have any quest items we could turn in. Hopefully we'll get some new dice, but now it's back to our empty container to end our cycle and to begin a new day on the eye. I guess it's day, could be night. It's always night in space, isn't it? Now look, we got five, I guess we always, I don't know, do we always get three dice? Is that what we get each day? I don't know, was there a options i can't remember if there was a actual thing that we could pull back up to see i thought there was another tutorial thing we could pull up but i guess not anyway we have so we got one guaranteed pretty much depending on the actual operation the scrap freighter's back we could buy some scrap what we're going to do with the scrap i don't know i remember there's something we could do with the scrap but i can't remember only allowed to buy so much scrap we can only buy three scrap at a time we could help unload the containers for 15 cryo and but that doesn't really get us any other advantages can't remember what there was something we could buy we could do with the scrap we'll just have to wait and try and remember sealed dock we were trying to help thing because we got to figure out, we got to start knocking some of these out. Because we need to get access to the fabricator in order to build a ship mind. So, and we need a ship mind for the Neovend. Fing just needs his thing. What did Fing need? I can't remember what Fing still needed. I think Fing, yeah, Fing needed a ship mind too. Or we needed to get access, better access to the shipyard in order to get what Fing needed. So the first thing we need to worry about is getting better access to the shipyard. So we can get 12 cryo. If we do the systems fitting, um, we can do this. Now we're not going to get welders, mate. But we're also not going to run the risk of losing quality control here. I would rather be a junior tech than a welder's mate. Nothing wrong with welders, mind you. I often said I would like to be a welder, so go to work, weld some stuff, and then go home. Be a lot easier than being a special education teacher, probably. But anyway, let's do this. This should be a 100% positive chance, which should get us two. We got 12 more cryo. We're up to 121 now. And we've got two more towards the system tech. Now, obviously, we can't, I mean, our junior tech. Obviously, we're not going to use ones to do this. So that means we have to go back into the cloud. And so what are we looking for in the cloud now? Havenage gate. We don't have a haven. Oh, actually, we do. And we have havenage data. We don't have havenage ciphers yet. We need to get a havenage cipher from somebody. Here's a Havenage agent. We need a two or a three for that. So we can't do anything with that. Remember, it has to match exactly in the cloud. You can't use 
um, like it says, like this keynote, I have to use a two or a three. There's no other options. I can't use the one and hope that I get lucky. I have to use a two or a three. And it looks like there's going to be anything I can do with my one. Okay, I can do my yacht again agent. Now, didn't I already do the yacht again agent? Yeah, and I was able to give the yacht again agent information to somebody else. All right, so we got cryo for that. All right, so we got yacht again data. And it also increases the hunter. We can't do anything with it. All right, so this key node. I don't know what this key node is going to give us access to. Got another Yadigan agent. Now we can do two. How many Yadigan agents? Let's pop out of the cloud. I can't even remember who we can turn the stuff into. We're getting to be a lot of stuff. A lot of things that we can do now. And it's hard to keep track of them sometimes. Haven and offices. We can turn in Yadigan data here. And it just gives us um, money. Okay, that's all it's good for. So we can turn in yet again data here. And it gives us money. It gives us 10 cryo. So it's not really worth it. I mean, other than getting rid of the ones of our dice. Sophisticated tech is around the eyes. So the shipyard is happy to pay for ship mine fragments. And we do have ship mine fragments. But it doesn't tell us how much they would pay for one of these. And we don't get any bonuses for doing that. I mean, it doesn't. we don't really gain anything. For unit assembly, we can't do anything for that. And so, Dock C4, Helion Crossing, we're just waiting for somebody to land there. And of course, the Ambergris, we can't do anything here. Because here this is risky. So, like, if I put a 1 there, it's got a 50% chance of neutral and a 50% chance of negative. So, if it's positive, I'm guessing if it's positive, that would be ship shape. We got a 50% chance of just ruining the Ambergris. So I'm going to hold on to that one for now. We already know what we can do at the Overlook Bar. Sealed Dock is the vending machine. And then he's waiting for a ship mine core, which we don't have. And at the Ord Exchange, we can play the exchange. but I, And it doesn't look like... All right, so we can guild scrap here. Will that give us, and it says it'll give us trusted trader. So if we can get scrap here, can we buy scrap from these dudes? This is scrap freighter. So let's see if we can buy some scrap. See if it's the right type of scrap. We can only buy three scrap. And right, we have scrap components now. So let's go back to the ord exchange. Turn in some scrap the right type now will that give us it'll give us plus on the trusted trader but how much on the trusted trader will it give us we have no idea how much the bar tab is going to be which is what i'm worried about so we got 12 so we have we make a profit we make a two credit profit we buy it for one we, we buy it for 10 we sell it for 12. so there's no reason not to do it right the wrong thing buy some oh we buy for 20 so actually we lose eight credits but we need access to that thing so let's go ahead and buy another one because we need access to the thing where we can make our ship cores our ship mine cores so let's do this this will give us all right so start that so we're going to lose 16 credits i think we'll be okay in the long run plus one component Just sell both of them at the same time. Okay, so we have four ship mine fragments. We still need two untrusted trader. We played the exchange. 50% chance. So we, let's just give it a shot and see if we get trusted trader no matter what. All right, so we got lucky that time. We got lucky. We got 12 cryo and we got trusted trader. Now we didn't get 19 cryo, which would have been nice. I guess that's if so I guess it's 12 if you if it's a neutral outcome it's 12 and if it's a positive outcome then it's 19 and if it's negative outcome then it's minus 11. We still need one more trusted trader. 
And really the only thing we can do at this point now is we could go to emphasis stall. We got 112. We can buy some food. So we have to buy some food. As you can see, we're getting low. We still don't have access to the green way to buy the girol, so we can make his girol fricassee. So we order our fungus. We got more fungus fan. Your mouth sings as your sensorium sends warning signals over and over. This is the good stuff. And we can keep buying it, but we need three, and then we have to have three of them, so I wonder if we're going to have to buy them or hunt for them in the... Once we do get to the green way. Is it the free spoke? We can't do anything here because we don't have any dice yet. Don't know where the green way is. I'm assuming the green way is somewhere on the other side. We have to pay for passage to founders. Oh, to reach the green way, we have to have 150 cryo. So many problems. Mo money, no money, mo problems is what I'm guessing. The overlook, we can't go to work because we don't have any dice. So it's a balance between the food and the rations and the horde exchange. And now we have to go back to sleep. This sleeper needs to cycle again. So let's see what happens. Now, since it is evening now, since I had to work today, I am drinking LaCroix. My energy has gone down. I'm now declining, which means I will soon have to buy that thing. Okay, so let's go back to the Ord Exchange. Now, we've got input is risky. If I do a 2 here, it's still 50% chance of neutral, 50% chance of negative. So I could lose some money. Do I want to use my 6 on this? I don't want to. So I don't know what's going to happen after we get Trusted Trader. All right, so we still got a neutral outcome. So we still got 12 cryos. So we still made some money. Now we've got trusted traders, so now we're going to back out and go back into the ore exchange. Ooh, there's the ore fabricator. So we need three ship mine fragments to make a ship mine. So start action. So now we have a ship mine. So now, what are we going to do with it? Thing needs it. Other people need it. I'm guessing it's not going to be too hard to make... What the bananas was that? Sorry, something... I got a notification from one of these devices in my room. I don't know which one. Too many devices. All right, so now let's go back to Feng. I remember where Feng was. He wasn't at the unit assembly. He wasn't at the Havenage offices. He wasn't at the Havenage offices. He wasn't at the empty container. He wasn't at Dock C4. He wasn't at Overlook. Where did he go? Where are you, Feng? You're disappearing on me. Sabine, Ord Fabricator, Emphasis Stall, Ord Exchange, Compressor Club, Low End. We know we can't get there. I have a ship mine for you, Feng. Where are you? The Neovin wants it too. What is the Neovin wanted for? The Neovin wants it for, where is it? Free Neovin hiding from the hunter protocol. So he can help us with the one in the cloud. I think I'm gonna give it to him. Cause Fing has apparently gone AWOL and apparently I'm missing something. Healing on crossing. Overlook bar, sealed dock is where the vending machine is, scrap freighter there, empty container is where I live, pavenage offices, unit assembly. Oh, he doesn't want us right. Thing wants me to get that. All right, so I'm going to worry about freeing Neil then first. So I got a ship mine core. Give that. I hope you're happy. All right, ship mine deliver, ship mine core. All right, so now I have to back out and go back in, hopefully. Sleeper, must express plans before we begin. Neovind is impatient. The prospect of being free of the vending machine clearly too much to take. Ship mine has no output features. Will be mute until slotted. Might not be bad. Correct. Do not worry. The silver motors 
and the machine begin to rev, Neil Ben's anxiety clear. First imprint ship mine, then slot imprinted ship mine into physical ports close to hunter nests. When slotted, we'll track hunter at each. Tracking, we'll find core nest, slot ship mine at core nest. Show hunter data to hunter. Hunter will conclude sentience. Hunter will invoke killer. And killer will kill. Yes. The lights on the vending machine cycle as Neovin prepares. Physical ports likely sealed in old station. We'll need keys, but yes, simple. The vending machine rocks a little. Any questions before imprinting? Why slot you physically? I cannot access via network. Too dangerous. Hunter would find immediately the lights flicker. Am I am not like you, hybrid. Am native to cloud. Easy prey. What's the core nest? Hunter keeps central data storage. Protocol must keep data outside self. Linked to secondary nest. Can triangulate from there. That's it. Let's start. The sound of all the servo motors starting up at once is painful. The screeches rattle from the hard surfaces of the sealed dock and come back at all angles. Neovin better be quick or Havenage Security will be here. Neovin's voice appears among the squeals like a whisper carried by the wind. Machine is not designed for this task. Few sensors, limited inputs. I worked blind. Wish me luck. In the top part of the compartment, a set of arms align with a ship mind, clunkily scraping against it. Can I help? Silence best. Also, if machine ignite, put out fire. That's a good idea. The metal creaks as the servos open the ship mine. Its layers of silicon nested like an onion skin. Once open, the main arm of the machine rapidly shifts back and forth, realigning the microscopic components, accessing and rewriting them, imprinting Neovin into its physical form. As you watch the hypnotic motion, your mind drifts to your own creation. What processes were used to emulate your mind, to copy the neural structure of that person who, as far as you know, still sleeps in some distant facility? What was lost? In what ways are you a copy of that person? And in what ways are you something new? You know this much. You were a convenient loophole, a way of circumnavigating the legality of sentient AI. After all, you are an emulation, not a true digital being. You are neurologically limited, still human. But what would you become if you could escape this frame? Where then would the limits lie? The screeching stops. The machine powers down, dropping the bay into darkness. In the top compartment, the ship mind is whole again. You reach up and take it down, heavy and cold to the touch. Is Neil Vend inside this thing, or did the process fail? There's only one way to know. Time to find a nest to slot them into. Alright, so now we have a new drive. Deal with Hunter. Hunter is constantly tracking you, but with you... But with Neovin's help, you may be able to deal with this rogue protocol. Slot imprinted ship mine at nests. Okay, so are the nests the nests in here? And why is that circled? Why does that one not have a dot on it? Alright, so there are no hunter nests here. But these are blinking. We don't have anything we can do for these right now. Like, we can't do this, right? No, we can't do it. So we can't even do this one at the moment. So now we have to figure out what we're going to use our big old six on. Thing. All right, so I know the best thing to use it on is the shipyard. Let's go to the shipyard. Unit assembly. So now if I do this. Get in there. So now if I do this, I'm going to get 100% positive. Means I'm gonna get my 12 cryo and I should get shoe. Should get, shoe. Should get two on junior tech. Point there. So we got five cryo. We got a bonus five cryo for that. So we're up to. So now we still need two more for junior tech. Got a slotted ship mine. I still got a ship mine fragment. Need some food now. Oh, here's a hunter's nest. Let's get our food first. And I'm gonna, all right, there's a sealed hunter's nest there. There's a sealed hunter's nest here. Do I need, 
I need a key to get in there. Sealed behind a mag, mag lock, the atrium flickers with warm and inviting light. The nest is to be inside. Okay, so that's, we have to go hack those out of the cloud. So it's gonna be a race against time. Anyway, I need food. I think we can afford to get this food. I'm just worried about, all right, we're running out of energy and soon our bounty hunters tab is going to be do so but now it's time to sleep again back to our empty container for another cycle once again we drift off into silicon sleep i guess it's silicon in our emulated mind so it's not a real mind it's a computer program imitating a mind so we have two dice we have a two which is going to be good for those um getting those so let's go into the cloud so these dots have a key node and we can use this protocol match bypass we didn't get any credits for it unfortunately so we're going to extract the data which brings hunter one step closer to us and leave here go to the drone bay which is a sealed hunter's nest we're going to encrypt we're going to insert a key Start action, unlock the drone bay. So now do we have to leave, all right, so leave. And then go into the nest. We have to leave and come back in. So we have to hack the isolate. So we have to have, all right, so maybe, all right, so I hope we don't lose the ship mind or this is gonna be a very long quest indeed. All right, so we got this nest hacked. The drone is quiet, his belly full of cables spilled out across the floor. The nest is empty. Hunter hunted. Once saw with Neil Van Shipmine, we'll lead you to the Hunter Central Data Cache. Now we've only got a five, so we can't get back in there, so it means we have to go back to the shipyard. At least we'll get some money for this. 100% positive, so how much are we gonna get? Starting action. All right, 12 cryo plus two systems tech, which means we can hop out of here. And then, all right, each shift, a crowd of would-be workers gathers outside the shipyard, each of them clinging to a four-digit number printed on receipt paper. These are their assignment numbers, and you are either called for a shift or you aren't. As you arrive, the crowd is restless and chatter rumbles through the lines. For those who, like you, have graduated to the work teams, shifts are guaranteed. Having just walked out of a meeting with a supervisor where you were praised for your efforts, you feel the glow of a job well done. Why do I feel like something bad is about to happen? Yet you can't help but feel empathy for those huddled as you pass, waiting for their number to come up. You keep your head down as you leave the shipyard, feeling a little guilty as you do. Hey, sleeper, wait up! Lim's voice trembles as he shouts above the rumble of a crowd, and you turn to see him pushing through, Mina crying in his arms. Lim! Good to see you, friend. He is breathing hard after shouldering through the waiting workers. Why is Mina crying? You made the work team. Good for you. He tries to catch his breath, stroking Mina's hair as he does. Shh, baby, give me a second here. He smiles weakly you as he comforts her and her cries start to fade out of the crowd he sets mina down by his side shiny streaks down both of her cheeks as he does you can see he is clutching an assignment number on a crumpled piece of paper waiting on a shift uh-huh you know how it is he puts his hand on her shoulder and she clings to his side esther who usually takes her is sick he stretches i don't know who a noise sounds from the entrance, a klaxon followed by a list of numbers growing brightly on a display screen. The crowd responds instantly, pushing and pulling as people try to wade to the entry checkpoint. Lim stops and turns back towards the crowd, then glances down at the crumpled paper. That's my number. Crap, crap, Armina. He starts patting the pockets on his gear and glancing around. Go, I'll watch her. He blinks a little, staring. Thank you. Thank you all. He crouches to Mina. You're going to stay with our friend here, okay? They're going to keep you safe and... 
He stands back up. Here, take her bag. He shoves it into your hand. She's got food. She's got crap. I have to go. He backs away into the crowd. Mina, I'll be back real soon, okay? Be good. Then Lim disappears into the rolling crowd, roiling crowd, who are now trying to get into the shipyard before it locks down. Mina stands, staring, suddenly small without limb at her side. She fixes you with a dark-eyed look you can't quite read. Hey, Mina. She holds the stare, unmoving, the two parallel tear tracks still glint on her cheeks. Look in the bag. You unlatch the top of the bag and see a few metal containers fashioned from scrap components. A battered slate sits on top, blinking a low battery warning, and tucked beside it is a ragged rabbit, hand-sewn. Take the slate. You take out the slate and press the power stud. The screen lights up, glowing blue. Mina stares at you as you look for something that might help. Let's see if she likes to draw. You press a pencil icon and a pale screen pops up, blank apart from a color picker. Mina reaches up and grabs the slate, sighing at you. Daddy's friend made this. She runs a finger along the slate, leaving a blue streak behind. Look! She sits beside you and starts to draw. You sit too, looking over her shoulder as she doodles. What's that? Wiggles, she said plainly, then hands you the slate. Try and draw Mina. Mina watches intently. Who's that? She laughed. Looks sillies. She pokes your arm a couple of times. Are you really a robot? Sort of. Yeah, she thinks. Me too. Mina has more questions. Lots of questions. Questions about how you breathe or if you rust. But before long, you were talking about rabbits and what Esther, the lady who usually takes her, smells like and whether or not fairies live in the eyes heating pipes. Of course they do. You pass the time like this, sitting side by side on the floor of the walkway as others pass by, sometimes talking, sometimes drawing on the slate, sometimes playing with Bun-Bun the rabbit. And this is how Lim finds you, just as both of you are starting to yawn. He is dirty and tired, but Mina leaps up his legs and into his arms as he stumbles backwards. You two get on okay? he asks, trying to keep Mina from climbing up onto his shoulders. More than okay. Mina shoots you a smile from Lim's arms, her suspicion gone. Well, well, well. Looks like Meanie can be nice. He pokes her in the ribs and she squeals in delight. Thank you, friend. I mean it. He gives you a warm, white smile. I owe you. Yes, you do. Look, he glances around. It seems like Esther, the lady who usually watches her, is going to be out for a spell. If you ever have some time, I'd really appreciate you coming down to our place in the low end. He grins shapelessly if you have time. But now I have to take this one to eat, he plays at biting Mina and she giggles in response. See you, sleeper. He waves and they stumble off down the corridor, drawing gazes from passing spacers as Mina's laughter echoes down the corridor in bright squeals. All right, so we have a, n now we have a new, another do drive. Help Lim work. So look at all this. This is getting more complicated than my real life. All right, so this is gonna be some sort of new thing. Let's see. All right, so this is a sidereal that we have to help fix. Look at this, look at this. Your work as a junior tech has qualified you to work in the team handling the final tech fit of the sidereal horizons bridge, a vast job. We get 15 cryo for it. Looks like we get 15 cryo no matter what positive and negative we get 15 cryo so we can just dump our dice in here it looks like no matter what and we'll get 15 creds 15 cryo all right but now sleepers we are at the end of this episode and we're at the end of another cycle we have we're getting to the point where we're going to need to buy medicine but i don't know how much this tab is going to be but it looks like we're going to find out the next cycle. I just hope it's not something like a hundred or two hundred. We have Lim and Mina's unit where we can go to their apartment. We'll check that out in the next episode. So more and more things are becoming open. Oh, we do have an up. We've got two upgrade points. How shall we spend them? I guess we got an upgrade point for freeing Neil Vin, and I guess we got an upgrade point for getting the shipyard thing. So how are we going to spend these? We've got two upgrade points. 
Agent nodes give double data repairs. Keep two dice when condition is breaking. Maybe my condition is why we're not getting as much dice. Hmm. Instant karma, reroll all of your dice once per cycle. That sounds like a good one. How come I can't buy it? Do I have to have a certain amount in this? I'm guessing, I'm not sure. We'll just have to see. Have to see what happens. Or we can get some bay dice action allows energy recovery at home, but it's a dice action. Chance to gain energy after engage action, chance to gain random scrap. Let's see. Being able to re-roll all of our dice. So now can we do this? So now we can do it, but now we have to have all right, can we still can't upgrade this one anymore. Can we upgrade this one again? No, no, back. I thought we had, we had predictive reasoning. I don't understand. Maybe if we in, do both of these. All right, so I can't, can't do that. I don't understand. I definitely don't want, you know, so we want to, so we're gonna wait. And so maybe when we get another upgrade point, now that I've upgraded this again, Maybe it was started off at negative one and then upgraded to zero. I don't know. We can upgrade that back. It looks like these are like combined. I don't know. I'm going to look around and we'll find out. Uh, thanks for watching this far and I hope you have a great week and I'll see you soon. Sleeper.